Good afternoon. Well, Mr. Travel On is here at the very first and the only hostel in Playa Blanca. This is brand new. It's called Chill 12. There's never been a hostel in Playa Blanca. So if you're looking for something that's going to save yourself some money and you're one of them people that stays in hostels, backpacking and getting your way around, well, this could be the ideal place for you. And Mr. Travel On's got full access. So come on, this is going to be the very first video of Mr. Travel On hostel life let's go so when you make a booking at chill 12 they give you a code for the key which is in the little box and i've got full access and a key so i'm going to let myself in and go wild in here so let's go and have a look right let's get this on the go i'm not going to show you the code but let's get this open there we go key as promised is there let's let ourselves in i'll tell you what this is quite exciting i think if i was booking a hostel i would be super excited to get inside let's go right then come on let's get in here and have a look and i'll tell you what already i like it now i've never ever been in a hostel or stayed in a hostel but if you need somewhere that's cheap perfectly located in Playa Blanca and you just want to get your head down this could be the solution for you let's take a look behind here because this is where the kitchen is so what do you think of this you've literally got everything they supply all this you've got your coffee your tea so you can make yourself something to drink water as well there's actually two fridges if you want to keep your own stuff here and a selection of snacks and that's all included in the price well I think that is a deal and I can see Mr. Travel On. Well, if there was other people here, I'd be offering to make food for them. <laughs> I could really feel at home here. I'd say, what, what do you want over there? Shall I make you something? You know, you've got a toaster, you've got a cheese toasty maker, microwave over here. And of course, all your amenities like your sink, your washing up, plates, everything. I am super impressed with this. It's like your own little kitchen. Right, so let's have a look at where you're going to be sleeping. Well, it's basic, but what do you expect from a hostel? Like I said, this is a place to get your head down. And at 35 euros a night, well, you can't go wrong, can you? So you've got one, two, three, four, and then a few other beds. And there is a room as well, which is more for people that are stopping a little bit longer, which would be like a private room. So if you don't like staying in the communal area, well, there is a room to yourself. Look, it's only a small room, but it's perfectly private. So you can actually close the door as well. And you've got your own room. So this would definitely be my choice. I could have my own room. I could lock the door. And if you prefer that, I guess, well, there's only one room available. So you'd probably have to book it in advance. But they do use this for people staying on more of a long-term basis. I guess with hostels, you probably do get quite a few people that would come for one, two, maybe three nights because everyone's moving around, aren't they? But I mean, if you wanted to come here for a week and you wanted your own room with your own privacy, actually quite a nice view out there. And it's quite quiet as well. So you could sort of just come in here and close everything out. If you weren't into that sort of communal social vibe, which you know, Mr. Travelon is like that. However, I do think if I was in here, I would be mixing and mingling. I might come across as a miserable git, but once I'm in there, I'm in there entertaining and looking after everybody. But this bed's super comfy. I might even have a little nap while I'm here. I'm feeling a bit tired, but I've got work to do. So come on, let's go see some of the other things here. Now you might expect a hostel to be in the middle of nowhere, off the beaten track, but this one is right in the center of town, just upstairs in a little commercial center and literally two minutes from the beach and town of Playa Blanca. It's surrounded by loads of different bars, restaurants, coffee shops. You've got everything literally on your doorstep. So Chill 12 is perfectly located. 
There was a lovely terrace area where you could sit outside and just chill and relax. And inside, there was different sort of communal areas and places where you could just sit, chill out, relax, or socialize if that's what you want to do. I was really impressed with the kitchen area. And I loved the sort of bar area where you could sit and have a chat and have something to eat and drink. And I was quite impressed with the snacks and drinks that they laid on as well. I don't know if that's normal for a hostel, but I thought that was a really, really nice touch everything seems safe and secure as well there's lockers to put all your luggage in and lock everything up safely and the beds well although they were communal they look very very comfy so let's go and have a little look further at this fantastic hostel so what do you think of this can you see mr travel on having the hostel life well i'm not sure i do like me creature comforts but Bed, really, really comfortable. And like I said, if you're sort of backpacking, you're a solo traveler, you like to meet other people, well, I suppose that's what the hostel life is. I mean, I think I missed out on that. I never really did the sort of traveling thing, but I'm sure there's people that are watching that do that and don't mind meeting other people. You know, Mr. Travel on. Well, I like to keep myself to myself, but I mean, here, get my head down, out for the day, back whenever I feel like it, Use the kitchen, have something to eat and drink, and have a little sleep. What do you think? I'm actually quite impressed at how clean this place is as well. Everything's in its place, everything's spotlessly clean. And I guess if there's quite a few people here, it will be quite a nice atmosphere as well. And it's got bathrooms, towels, everything's pretty much laid on for you. Wait till you see these bathrooms, they're actually quite impressive. So you get your towels provided with your bed, and then through here, well, you've got access to other towels and things like this, look, to hang your washing up or hang your clothes up. Everything's here. And the bathrooms, well, I'll tell you what, not only are they spacious, but they're super clean as well. So you've got your sink, you've got your toilet, and of course, you've got your shower there. And there's not just one bathroom, there's actually two. And here you'll find the other shower, toilet, towels, sink, and soap as well. What more could you ask for? So one thing that's important for every traveler these days is Wi-Fi and, well, you get free Wi-Fi included, and it's gonna be good Wi-Fi too, probably better than a hotel. What you find with hotel Wi-Fi is it's shared with so many people. Whereas here, it's like the Wi-Fi that you'd find in your house. So it's gonna be super broadband and super, super speedy. And you know that is something that hostile people are certainly gonna be wanting. So what do you think of Chill 12 in Playa Blanca? Not only the first hostel in Playa Blanca, but the only hostel in Playa Blanca. And if you're looking for somewhere, like I said, to get your head down for the night and you want something cheap and cheerful, well, this to me is ideal. Now, like I said throughout the video, I've never been in a hostel, let alone stay there. But I tell you what, if I needed somewhere to stay, and I was on a really super tight budget, I was a solo traveler backpacking around the world, well, I wouldn't mind getting my head down in here. It's got a bed, it's got a shower, it's got a kitchen, it pretty much has everything that you need. It's a shame I'm not a little bit more sociable, isn't it? But I do know a lot of travelers, a lot of backpackers, they like that social environment. And I can really see this being that type of place, especially with the bars and restaurants in the surrounding areas. I mean, literally where Chill 12 is, downstairs you've got an actual restaurant and that restaurant does some fantastic food, including salchi papas, which is well, a Spanish sort of Canarian dish, which I am due to do a video soon. So make sure to subscribe to this channel because I am actually going down to that exact place to get some scram very soon and show you all about salchi peppers. But we digress. Down there as well, you're literally on the main road, which will lead you down to Playa Blanca town. You are a stone's throw from the beach, literally two minute walk from the main town of Playa Blanca and the beach. You've got everything right on your doorstep. There's a pharmacy just opposite. There's another couple of restaurants just opposite as well. There literally is everything. Supermarket, again, two seconds down the road, literally on the corner of where I'm sat right now. So if you do need to get all your bits and bobs and things like that, 
you've literally just got to walk out of this fantastic hostel. This place will be ideal for sporty people as well. You know Lanzarote is one of those sort of sporty islands where people just come for sort of events, whether it be sort of a surfing event or a running event or the Ironman or something like that. There's loads of sporting events here on the island and people tend to just fly in, do their thing and get out. Well, this will be ideal, wouldn't it? Come, do your sporting event and off you go. And like I said, backpackers, surfer dudes, content creators, solo travelers, well, there's loads of different people that are just looking to get out of where they're living and go and see a little bit of the world. And it can be quite expensive. I mean, I know doing videos myself, if I head over to Tenerife, Gran Canaria or wherever, it is very, very expensive to stay in hotels. And here, 35 euros a night, I could certainly live with that. So I'm gonna put all the details down below of where you can book this, but you just need to Google Chill 12 Rentals Lanzarote or Chill 12 Hostel Player Blanca. They have got a website, so it's got all the information on there that can give you absolutely everything, show you more photos. You can make your bookings and your reservations there. And it is a family run business. They've been on the island for 25 years. So they're going to make sure to look after you. And nothing seems to be too much trouble here as well. Really nice family and a really, really, again, nice atmosphere here. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. That was the first ever hostel video from Mr. Travel On and the first ever hostel I've been in. And I'm actually really, really impressed. I might even come back and stay here. Maybe I'll take up the hostel living life. I don't think I could take Mrs. Travel On though. She likes her creature comforts and well, you know what she's like, only the best for Mrs. Travel On. But for me, I could certainly see myself here. I could certainly see myself looking after everybody as well. I think I'd just take over and get everybody organized. <laughs> All these solo young travelers, I'd be like, right, you need to do this, this, and this. And don't forget to get all your excursions booked with Mr. Travel On, www.travelon.world. I'd be selling everything here, wouldn't I? But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you do have a look at Chill 12. And like I said, if you are coming here, and you're on a budget and you want cheap and cheerful accommodation, well, you couldn't go wrong with a hostel, could you? This place is also very useful if you've got an early checkout and a late flight and you need to dump your luggage. Well, they do a luggage storage here. It's like 15 euros and you can use the facilities to keep your luggage safe. They'll lock it all up for you. And obviously you can have a shower, freshen up and get yourself ready for the airport. So that is something else they do. And all the information for that is on their website, which I've put below. Anyway, make sure to like, follow and subscribe. I shall see you in the next video. And uh, welcome to Hostel Life. See you later.